Connor Brown called home on Wednesday night to check in. Did you see the animals like I own them out here? Yeah, we're starting to buy Bob County 7 and the pizza boxes. The initial concerns that I had, including Damien, uh, into the regular classroom uh, were how it was going to be perceived by the other students in the first grade room and also how the teacher was having the right teacher that was on board with, you know, making sure that the, that the student was included in the activities and the, the, but not taken away from the instruction that was going on in the regular classroom. I found that uh, it was much easier than I had anticipated. I basically just, just did the same things that I always would do in my classroom. Uh, taught the same lessons, and sometimes we would make adjustments for Damien. Assistive technology uh, was an important role in Damien's ability to access the general curriculum. Um, he had, we used several different devices, one of which was his Dynavox that would help him to communicate verbally words to the, uh -huh. his peers. And then we also used picture cards, uh, word cards, um, so that he could make choices you know, between activities that he wanted to do. Um, also with the spelling, with the letters, he was able to use those to, for spelling. Which word would you like to spell next? Food or soup? Soup or food? That's the one you want. Soon. Soon. Okay, soon. We'll spell soon. The students were very accepting of Jamie. Thing. I think about him just being another kid. The moment he stepped in that classroom, the children loved Damien. He is one of the most popular children at our school. We wanted to send a letter home to let him know kind of what was going on, being very upfront with the parents, letting them know exactly what we were doing to make them feel a part of the project so that when they, the, the kids came home and they were talking about what their day looked like, the parents were familiar with what was going on. The children have not only learned to um, accept Damien, but that they have really embraced his uniqueness. At first the planning was um, just Vicki and I. Beyond that we had um, our MAPS meeting which is also a collaboration between the parents, the administration. The MAPS process was great. It was um, when we met with the parents just going over there was a lot of history that I did not know. You know first grade, the therapist, myself, um, everyone that was involved. He really gave me a good background of who he was and what to expect. Mm -hmm. I knew that Damien checked out a lot and had lots of therapies, but just knowing how involved the parents were and what their perception of the project was going to be and what they wanted to benefit from it. I've just been watching Damien and his interaction since he's been in the classroom, since he's been a part of the regular first grade class, and I think he's been surprising us all. He has a newfound confidence in that you know, in his own thoughts, and his own yes. opinions, and his own feelings. And we know the classroom helped bring that out. And he has no problem letting you know what he wants, what he doesn't want. And But that engagement increased exponentially when Damien went to the first grade classroom. If he had not gone to the first grade classroom, I think he would have still been trying to figure out his voice. Damien has found his voice by being a part of this inclusion program. And we know that go, that will go with him for the rest of his life. He'll never leave that. It won't stop. But having this in place has given our son his voice. Oh, what did you do that, Oh. Good job. Good job, Damien. Can you say the word now, Damien? Zoo. 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 Mm. <laughs> All right. Okay, well, Will, I'll have you take those off.